Welcome guys. Guess what time it is? It's lunch time. And today for lunch, I am making a sweet potato and a mini frittata. And I'm going to make all of this in my little mini waffle maker. First, I'm going to cut into medallions two slices of my sweet potato. And I'm going to start cooking it in my little mini waffle maker. I'm just going to spray my waffle maker with some olive oil spray and just let it really cook. It's just going to make it cook versus make it into anything. Then for my mini frittata, I am going to use two eggs, some of my black olives, cottage cheese, my tomato guts from my recipe that I made yesterday, my bruschetta. If you didn't check out that video, guys, be sure to check it out. It was super delicious and nutritious. But I reserved the inside of the tomatoes, and I told you I was going to use it for something else. And this is what I'm going to put it in, my little frittata. And I'm going to also use some of my greens in there as well. So I'm going to get my sweet potato started in my little mini waffle maker cooking, slicing my little medallions maybe a half an inch thick. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. And then I'm going to blend up the stuff I'm making my frittata with in my little mini blender. And then once my sweet potato is done, I'll put my little frittata in my little mini waffle maker as well. All right, let's have some fun. I'll be back. First things first, I have my little mini waffle maker plugged in and I'm going to spray with my olive oil spray. Close it up and let it heat up while I get my slices on. I've already washed my sweet potato. Let me cut off that little edge there. All right, so I want to make this about a half an inch thick, maybe. All right. Guys, if you're looking for a specific recipe, I am not that channel. I like to use the ingredients that I have and make something healthy, delicious, and nutritious and have fun in the kitchen. All right, so that's it. My little medallions. I'm gonna cook one at a time in my little mini waffle maker. All right, I'm just gonna close that down. And as it starts to cook, I'll press in with my little glove, I'll press in and just kind of get that groove in there. Push that to the side and start getting my ingredients ready for my frittata. All right, so I'm going to get my little mixer, add my tomato guts to my mixer. I'm going to crack in my two eggs. Add in a couple of my black olives. I'm going to add in some of my cottage cheese that was left over from my meal the other day. I don't want much in there, just a little bit. So I'll do the tip of my knife of some cheese. There we go. Maybe that was a tablespoon. Alright, I'm going to add in some of my greens. I just got a pinch of my greens. How about one more? Alright. And salt, smoked paprika, And that's it. I'm going to mix it. Put my lid on and put it on my blender. All right, let's blend this. That should be good. Super simple. All right, and that's just going to sit there and think about things while I'm waiting for my sweet potato to get finished. Let's see what we got here. Still cooking. I'm going to just press in a little bit more with my pot holder. I don't burn my hand. Press that down a little bit and let it work its magic. I'll be back. Okay, I 
I have my two little sweet potato waffles completed. And now it's time to make my little mini frittatas. So I'm gonna respray my waffle maker and pour in my batter. Remove this, move this closer. I'm not gonna go crazy pouring it in because it'll end up getting everywhere. So I'm going to just do a couple of frittatas so that it doesn't make it huge mess. Let's sit there for a minute. Oh, that should be good. All right. Close it and let the magic happen. I'm gonna give it a little second before I completely shut it or it's gonna go everywhere. All right, let's check on this little frittata. Well, just about a minute more. These don't take long at all. All right, guys, it is finished. I'm going to add a little bit of my chili sauce to the top of my eggs. And if you didn't catch that video when I was making my chili sauce, definitely want to check it out. And I'm going to just add a little smoked paprika over the top. And that is it. I'm going to enjoy my dish. Remember, have fun in the kitchen. It doesn't have to be perfect. My little frittata fell apart whenever I was trying to get it out of my machine, and that's all right. It's still going to be delicious and nutritious. All right, guys, remember to subscribe, like, and share my videos. And I will see you next time for another healthy dish. Oh, yeah, and I have avocado sliced up, a half, a half of small avocado, and a couple of little cherry tomatoes there as well. Yum. Bye.